2020. Love reading. This is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I don't know if I said that already or not. But this uh, message will not resonate with everybody. So please just take what you want. Leave what you don't. If this sounds like your situation, claim it. And know that you are in control of your destiny. So let's see what the romance angels have for you in the month of November. Roles can be vice versa. It can be coming from the perspective of a cross watcher. So just remember that. Your first card out in the beginning of November starts out with true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. The middle of November brings in children. Your love life is being affected by children. And the end of November ooh, brings in separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Let's see what our advice for the month is. You guys got two. Transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings and unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Amazing energy there for you, Libras. Okay. So, let's see what you guys got going on in November. First row will be you, beginning a month, middle of month, end of month. Second row, your person. Third row, the energy of the relationship. Your first card out is the Nine of Wands. Coming to, wow, well, too many. Coming to the end of a cycle here in the beginning of November. Nines are uh, completions of a cycle. Tens are releasing. In the middle, you got the Six of Cups in reverse, which there's your children that we were talking about with the Romance Angel cards. The end of November. What did Libra have for the end of November? Thank you. You have the King of Swords. There you are in your energy, Libras. <clears throat> A person you are dealing with. My goodness, your cards are flying all over the place. Out of control. Strength. The Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords. I'm being told to keep them. The energy of the connection. There's the Emperor. The Ten of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. Let's get one more for your energy up top here at the end of the month. And the Nine of Pentacles. So our energy is even. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. So, wow, with the Magician and Justice under that. So you could be dealing with a spouse or somebody who is married to someone other than you. <laughs> okay, what do I want to clarify with? Let's go with the Raider weight here. So why is the Nine of Wands here for Libra? So you've just gotten out of a difficult cycle, Libra. Um, four of swords now it's now it's time to heal um take some time you're not you're not resting enough you're not getting enough sleep you're not focusing enough on your healing process um it's like you're you're like the ultimate warrior that doesn't that doesn't stop but it's time to um it's time to get some rest it's time to take some time to yourself and um heal those wounds of your past um the person that you are dealing with is the hair fence so they are more than likely married already um if this isn't if they're not married to you my goodness i just can't get your cards to calm down here why is the hair fence here please the knight of cups okay and the emperor the two of swords Okay, so yeah, so okay, Libras, you guys have been fighting long and hard for this connection. So this person is married or was married when they offered their love to you. 
they have a choice to make and they're, they're having a hard time choosing because the person that they're dealing with is in control of the relationship. They control the finances or it's their father and they like the person they're with or, you know, something like that, that they're not making the decision. Even though the two of you share this true love, they're, they're not walking away from somebody in the beginning of November. In the middle of November with the six of cups in reverse, this is being affected by children. Um, and you're, you're really in your feelings about the memories that you're sharing with this person. It's making you sad, but you're going to successfully get through this situation. With two sixes, most definitely look up the angel number 66. But you are successfully moving forward, focusing on your love, love of self, um, and hoping that hoping for the best. Why is strength here? They're trying to get a handle on their life. They're trying to get things in line. They're trying to, you know, get things in order. And most definitely they're trying to balance out what is it that they want? What am I want? What do I want to do? Do I want to go towards Libra? Do I want to stay where I'm at? Because they are dealing with this third party situation where you are one of the third parties. Um, this is becoming very heavy and burdensome for the two of you. The fact that you want to be together, but they won't make a choice, won't make a decision. Yeah, this is going to come into a reconciliation, re allowing the universe to bring this in in its own time by you know, by letting go of this burden, um, you have the nine and now the 10, you will receive healing. You will find that balance in your life again, but you must focus on yourself because right now they're not giving you what you need in this connection. So you need to successfully move forward, focusing on you, taking charge, making a head over heart decision, put the, put the worry away and allow this to work out in the way it, it will by, you know, by the fates. Why is the King of Swords here? You're just wanting to move forward. You're wanting this to move in a positive direction. You're wanting that Ten of Cups. You're no longer wanting to be juggled because there is a lot of passion here and you do see them as somebody that you will have a future with even though right now in the end of November you're still in this separation. Um, you feel kind of like you're being left out in the cold because they may go silent on you for a while. They're very confused and they're going to walk away from the connection so they can go within and find out what they want. They have to do this in order to find their strength, in order to find, you know, what needs healed so they can move forward. Um, but in the meantime, while they're silent, you're going to be just bursting with this new confidence because you are moving forward successfully. You're going to start focusing on you, focusing on your healing not worrying so much about the separation, but really investing in yourself, putting the time it in it takes to make you happy. And it's going to bring this person back that much more faster. You are receiving divine wisdom as well in this time of silence. With the Eight of Cups, you most definitely are beginning to walk your path with or without them. And that's what's going to bring them in for you, Libra, that much quicker. When they see you moving forward and doing great, they're going to get out of this place of being stuck. They're silently feeling like they can't move forward and you're walking away, focusing on you, no longer accepting the, the little bit that they've been giving you, no longer accepting it. You're hearing the wake up call loud and clear at the end of November. Uh, Libra, you most definitely are moving forward and you're going to focus on building that life that you want, no matter whether they're with you or without you, you are moving towards a very beautiful life, but in turn, they will then see what you have to offer. And I do see this more than likely coming back together in the month of December or January. Let me see what's uh, bringing in December for you guys. But remember, this is a huge time for you. Yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable is what's coming in for December. But remember, Libras, this is a huge transformation time for you. So you are going to be successful allowing yourself to walk away from this connection and focus on yourself. And remember, no matter what, they love you, you love them, no matter what the outward appearance may be. But for right now, you need to focus on getting you good and walking away from this situation because the universe is trying to wake you up very loud and clear so you can get through this cycle, so you can get through this transformation 
and come out even better than ever. And this person will be attracted to your vibration that is raising by you walking away and focusing on you and not this third party. Because this is true love and you will get another chance um, at this connection again once you raise your vibration and start focusing on what you deserve, what you are worth, what how valuable you are. So there is healing and there is a reconciliation here. Libras, you just got to get through this cycle and um, move forward. And beautiful blessings are coming in for you at the end of the year. I promise. All right, guys. I hope you have a beautiful month. And I will see you next time. God bless.